got another set of questions for the Alkenes and Edition Polymers playlist. A little bit different this one because it's just multiple choice questions. As always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try them first. Okay, so we'll make a start. So for the name, first thing we're going to do is establish the longest continuous carbon chain. So it's obviously this one here. So it's six long, so it's going to be a hexane. Um, the carbon-carbon double bond is at carbon two. That's the shortest number. So it's going to be a hex twoene. And we've got an ethyl group at carbon three. So the answer was C, three ethyl hex twoene. Moving on to the next question. So the first thing we can do is rule out cis and trans straight away because we don't have an identical group on each carbon of the double bond. So it's got to be either E or Z. So to help me explain this, I'm going to draw the um, groups on the carbons of the double bond in a lot more detail. So priority group on the first carbon, the left-hand carbon. So we're looking at atomic number first of all. You can see they're both carbon. So then we need to look at what's bonded then to that carbon. So on the top one, we've got three hydrogens, each with an atomic number of one. Whereas on this carbon, we've got two hydrogens and then a carbon. So because of that carbon, um, this one has the priority. Moving on to the next carbon of the double bond, you can see we've got carbon bonded directly to the carbon of the double bond. So if we look at what's bonded directly to each carbon, we've got H, C, C, whereas on this carbon we've got H, H, C. So this is going to have priority. So the priority groups are on opposite sides of the double bond. So this is an E isomer. So option C. Moving on to the next one, we've got to establish the types of bonds broken in the reaction between ethane and bromine. So these are the bonds broken. So what have we got here? That's a pi bond that's going to break there. And that's a sigma bond that's going to be broken there. Then if we move on to the bonds formed now, so this is a new bond, that's a sigma bond. This is going to be a new bond here formed, and that's a sigma bond as well. So option D was the answer. Next questions test now our understanding of these key organic words, I call them. So allocyclic means it's a ring, but it's not aromatic or not benzene. So A, we've got aromatic rings here. B, that's an aromatic ring. C, that's a ring, but it's not aromatic. So C was the answer, and D is obviously an aromatic ring. Moving on to the next one. So all of the options are pent, so we don't have to establish the longest carbon chain. We've just got to position the double bond. So the shortest number is carbon 2, so it's a pent 2 -ene. The bromine's therefore on carbon 3, so it's a 3-bromo-pent 2 -ene. And now we've just got to decide if it's E or Z. So on the left-hand carbon, the priority group is the methyl group because carbon has a higher atomic number than hydrogen. And on the other carbon atom of the double bond, bromine takes priority because it's got a higher atomic number than carbon. So the priority groups are on opposite sides of the double bond, so it's an E isomer, which means option A is the answer, E, 3 bromo pent 2 -ene. Moving on to the next question, so which statement about bonds is correct? CC bond in ethane is more polar than the CC bond in ethane. Well, that's not true because carbon has the same electron activity, so the bond isn't polar. Sigma bond is stronger than a pi bond. Yep, that is true. So B is the answer. We'll just rule the other two out just for revision purposes. So the HCH bond angle in ethane is 109.5, which is actually lower than the 120 in ethane. So that's why that's not right. And D is not right because the sigma bonds formed by the direct overlap of orbitals. What they've described there is the formation of a pi bond. And to help with the final question, I've drawn up the displayed version of the monomer and the repeat unit. So in terms of skeletal formula of the repeat unit, what have we got? We've got a carbon with two hydrogens on. So we've got a carbon with two hydrogens on there. And then we've got a carbon with a methyl group and a hydrogen on. So that carbon there, methyl and hydrogen. And obviously that's going to repeat to another CH2 group. There it is there. Carbon with a hydrogen and methyl. So D was the answer.